Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to adhere paper to wood. This will be a full tutorial, but also an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a few scrap sheets of paper and then this scrap piece of wood right here. And I figured I might as well make a video using both of these things together. I'll be going over three easy methods for sticking or adhering paper to wood. There are many different reasons why you might want to do this. Maybe you want to put a sign on a piece of wood. Maybe there's a piece of wood that has been stuck into the ground and you want to put a sign on to that piece of wood that's one reason maybe you want to decorate a piece of wood and make it more colorful you can put a piece of paper on it that is perfectly sized that's another option um, there are many different reasons why but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so <clears throat> essentially there are three sheets of paper here three scrap pieces of, of paper it's just one sheet that are ripped up into three and there are three different materials they're all various versions of adhesive or glue so first and foremost we have like a liquid type of glue okay basically it's a very very simple type of glue this is probably going to be the medium bond option. We also have a glue stick. This is going to be the lightest bond option, but also probably the least messiest in terms of trying to keep everything nice and clean and precise. And then we have a spray adhesive over here. Okay, and the spray adhesive is going to be the, the, the strongest bond, but also the little bit of, of a messy application, depending on your situation. Okay, so very simply put, um, I just realized all three of these are Elmer's. Um, I got this for my arts and crafts. Um, my son uh, uses this for like his school projects. And then I had this lying around in my office just for various videos that I've done over the years. This is like a spare glue stick. So, uh, you know, uh, Elmer's, reach out. We should do a collaboration. I just realized all three are based on Elmer's. Okay, so anyways, if you want the um, cleanest application, but the lightest hold, okay, we're gonna get one piece of paper over here. What you wanna do is either, you're either gonna apply the glue to the adhesive, I should say, to the piece of wood or to the paper, okay? So in this case, the lightest hold is going to be the glue stick. I'm gonna apply it to the piece of paper and I'm gonna try and stick this piece of paper with Y so it hangs off, as if I was putting a big sign on a piece of wood. So I'm gonna use the wood here as a guideline and I'm gonna just put the, um, the glue just like that, okay? Now you can, like I said, this is gonna be the lightest hold. So like I would say the weakest hold, although it still will produce a quite a strong hold, it will probably be the weakest hold, but it's also the cleanest application. Now that we've applied the glue, I'm gonna take that piece of paper and I'm gonna carefully stick it like this on the piece of wood. Just rub and press down for, I don't know, like maybe a minute, 30 seconds is probably enough, just like that, and that should be in place, okay? Let it dry fully, I'd say, uh, you can check the instructions on the glue uh, bottle or the glue uh, packaging, but I'd say like within an hour, it should probably be like completely dry-ish, give or take. Okay, the next option, which is going to be a medium hold, a little bit more messy, but not super messy, is going to be the, uh, just like the liquid glue. It's already opened up. You know, classic, I had to like peel off the glue off the top that dried up in order to get a nice good amount. But basically, I'm gonna save this one for the spray because the spray is a little bit more, uh, a little bit, it can be a bit messier. Okay, I'm gonna take this right here. I'll actually apply it right onto the wood. So I'm gonna show you that you can take the glue and you can apply it directly onto the wood. And this will make sure that you're getting, um, you know, you're staying, you're, it's, it's keeping as clean as possible. You want to get a good spread with it. You know, I mean, this is all hidden, so you can basically be as messy as you want. But try and make sure you get full coverage like that. Take that piece of paper and stick it down in place. Now this, when you press down, that glue is going to spread out. So you want to make sure that, and this is way easier to move around. But when it's dry, it will produce a stronger hold. Now you see the wrinkles there. You want to avoid those wrinkles, right? So spread out those, spread out that glue. That'll really get out the wrinkles. Um, <clears throat> so it's a little bit messier, like I said, but definitely a stronger hold, right? And if you're doing something like you want to go over the edge, you want to glue right over the edge, then this is great because that glue, you can just press it over right over the edge. And right now, as you can see, I, I stuck it over the edge. So if you're wrapping a piece of paper around a piece of wood, that's a good option. <clears throat> now the last option is going to be your spray adhesive. For your spray adhesive, I do recommend that you have something behind um, the thing that you're spraying. Like I, I sometimes will do this on the grass or I'll put a piece of cardboard underneath. In my case, I'm literally just going to be uh, basically spraying onto the um, onto the piece of paper and I'm, I'm just gonna spray 
just a little bit. Like I would recommend that you spray as much as you need to, but just to keep this clean, this is my garage floor. Just to keep my garage floor clean, I'm going to just spray just a little bit. So I'm gonna shake this up. There's an agitator in there, open it up. And basically just wanna spray, like I said, the either the wood or the piece of paper. I was gonna say spray the glue, but we are spraying the glue on the wood or the piece of paper, just like this. Okay, so I tried to keep it contained. Now, like I said, usually you would um, do this um, and you would really spray it on, but I'm just trying to keep it contained because I don't want to get any of this on my garage floor. Okay, you're going to turn it over so the glue side is touching the wood and you're going to press it down. Now, this is a thin piece of paper, generally speaking. Um, you can see some of it leak through. When it dries up, it will, I think it will sort of be less noticeable, but you want to take that into consideration with the amount that you're spraying. I also sprayed quite close because I wanted to keep it contained. Ideally, you want to spray further away, um, like six inches to eight inches away from the piece of paper or the wood, but I sprayed close because I don't want to get it on the garage floor, okay? But that's it, that is essentially, like I said, you want to make sure that you stick this down, um, press it down, you know, hold it down for like 30 seconds and you should be good to go. And that is essentially it. Basically, <clears throat> your glue stick, it's going to be the, the weakest hold, still a strong hold, but the weakest hold, but the, also the cleanest application. Okay, your liquid glue is going to be a medium hold um, and also a medium messiness. And then your spray is going to be probably the strongest hold because it just gets full coverage. It's going to cover the entire thing that you're, that you're trying to glue down, the entire paper or wood that you're trying to glue. Um, but it's also going to be the messiest because you need to have a little bit of prep work to get it ready. But that is essentially it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching